Okay, um, ladies and gentlemen, I, Professor Mohammed Lamin Mele, hereby certify that I am the returning officer for the 2023 Adamawa State Governorship election held on the 15th day of April 2023. The election was contested. The candidates received the following votes. Tahir Husseini, AA, 643, 643. Usman Mohamed Shua, ADC, 3024, 3024. Babangida Umaru, ADP, 2174 2174 Dahiru Ahmed Aishat APC 396788 Shonia Abga 892 Baba Jobello APM 606 606 Adam Abdul Kadir Isa APP 286 286 Musafa Umar Madawaki LP 2732 2732 Muhammad Shibadu Saad Tahir NNPP 4,852, 4,852. Abba Maina Aliyu, NRM, 1,272, 1,272. Umaru Ahmadu Fintiri, PDP, 430,861. <laughs> Baba Inna Ibrahim, PRP, 1,188, 1,188. Arto Umar, SDP, 6,870, 6,870. Maigana Ismaila Musa, YPP, 1,431, 1, Dadu. Hamron, ZLP, 200, 200. That Umaru Ahmadu Fintiri of PDP, having satisfied the requirement of the law, is hereby declared the winner and the <laughs> So finally, INEC has declared Governor Amadou Fintri winner of Adama State Governorship election. I mean, after all, all the whole drama, Fintri already won this governorship election. Just that first time the election was conducted for governorship election on the 18th of March last month. But the either the returning officer or the resident, resident electoral commissioner declared the election inconclusive when it was clear to everyone that Fintry was leading Binani with high margin and everywhere on social media they were uploading and posting that Binani has won, Binani has won. Now the election was a scheduled you know, supplementary election on the 15th of April, that's two days ago. As you would expect, everything went smoothly, there was no violence. And the collection began. So when the resident electoral commissioner, who of course is a card carrying member of APC, based on what he did that Nigerians saw, he's a card carrying member of APC, he went ahead to declare Aisha to be Nani, winner of governor, the uh, Adama State governorship election, without figures, you know, without announcing the figures Abinani used to win. And that nearly caused anarchy. 
that had nearly caused a lot of problem. I know commissioner that we had deployed to Adama State, we are beaten. He walked in with the commission of police as the, as the video trended on social media the, you know, two days ago. He walked in there and hurriedly declared Aisha to be Nani, winner of Adama State governorship election. When every Nigerian knows that before the supplementary election, Governor Finti was already leading Aisha to be Nani with 31,000 votes. And the, all the places where the supplementary election was to be done, the number of PVCs collected is 36,000. And that are 6,000 PVCs that we are collected, not everyone there we vote. So assuming that Binani should, there is no how a, an incumbent governor will not get at least 10,000 votes from that 30 something thousand votes that are, that are, you know, that are, the 30 something thousand PVCs that we are collected. If at all no one is voting him, all the, all the workers, his PDT members, will make up to that 36,000 and they will vote him. So, I don't even know why I need wasted money for supplementary election. Finte would have been declared winner even on uh, on the 18th of March 2023. But, I mean, it's really, really crazy. I don't know how we got here as Nigerians. And the residence electoral commissioner, Ainek, has written to the Inspector General of Police to arrest and prosecute him because he nearly caused problem in this country. And Aisha Tobinani, being from a lawmaker to a senator who knows the law, rudiments of the law, hurriedly went to NTA and you know she gave her acceptance speech. Acceptance speech for what? Even if they make her the winner of uh, they announce her the winner, won't she be surprised? Someone who is trailing with 30 something thousand votes. And all of a sudden you are declared winner and you you believed it. It's, it's really really shameful what APC is doing in Nigeria.